Let's add information to this. Information is not matter and it's not energy. Now let me explain that really quickly. Let me ask you a question. Romeo and Juliet. Does Romeo and Juliet, the play by William Shakespeare, does it exist? The play? Uh, does a play by William Shakespeare called Romeo and Juliet exist? I, I read that book in high school. Yes. You agree it exists? Yes. OK. Is Romeo and Juliet paper? No. Is it ink? No. Um, would you agree there's copies of Romeo and Juliet on people's hard drives? Yes. Is it a magnet? No. <laughs> OK. Are there copies of Romeo and Juliet passing through fiber optic cables? Well, sure. <laughs> Is it light? No. OK. Can you hear Romeo and Juliet at the theater? Yes. Is it sound? So no. You can, you can see it. Is, it. Is it light? It is, it is conveyed to me right. through light, right. but it is not light. It's a pattern. Right. It is a specific pattern. And you could write a computer program that looks at a pattern and goes, is this Romeo and Juliet? And it would go yes or no, right? right? right. It exists. But it's not matter. It's not energy. It's information. Right. Same with the genetic code. Same with the ones and zeros. All that stuff, OK? It's immaterial, mm -hmm. OK? So information is immaterial rules imposed on material things. Imposed in order to be communicated and stored and captured, right. conveyed, right. transmitted, right? OK, so, so we talked about DNA, and we backed up, and we found at some point we have to have an immaterial conscious being setting this in motion. Mm -hmm. OK? Now, matter, energy, space, and time are all bottom up. Start a big bang, it expands, and it all just happens from there. Right. OK? But information is top down. It starts from will mm -hmm. and consciousness, consciousness, right? Consciousness and will end up being, you know, ones and zeros, mm -hmm. right? Yep. OK. And information is not a property of matter, energy, space, it's or time. completely orthogonal. OK. That means information comes from the outside. Comes from the, why can't it be one more characteristic inside the circle? Well, we have things inside the circle, but we, we required a singularity, or unless there's an unknown laws of physics, which nobody's found. I'm hypothesizing there's not an unknown laws of physics, that DNA was, is a consciously created thing. OK, so yeah, we have living things, which are made of matter, energy, and space, and time. But they have information, which came from the outside. Now, right now, you've created some information. Yeah. And you're inside of this circle. Right. So you can create information inside of this circle. Is that true? Yeah. Conscious beings can. Conscious beings can. Right. Right. And where do conscious beings come from? OK. Other conscious beings. Right. So at some point, you have to draw a line and have a conscious being outside. Yeah. So conscious, conscious infinite, immaterial, mm -hmm. boundless. Mm -hmm. Getting close to the description of God.